Alrighty, PG-13, mature audiences only, or adults only, <laughs> PG-13 anyways. Oh, so we're starting off with the G.I. Joe shark. And this shark came with this crappiest version of Deep Six ever. The two points of articulation <laughs> in the cartoon. He would shoot a little missile out of here. <laughs> he didn't get chest hair burn at all. <laughs> he waxed. <laughs> Anyways, there's a little pump and a hose I have it somewhere. It attaches to this. And this was a gimmick. It's for your bath time and fun. <laughs> this should never have been made. Uh, the shark was actually a pretty cool vehicle. And, well, we have airtight in there. Now, I know airtight's supposed to be like, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> One of those troops that goes in, oh, geez. Anyways, I always use airtight as a water guy, <laughs> but we'll review him when that year comes. <laughs> he was supposed to be like a biological something. <laughs> Had, like, almost like a hazmat, put it that way. <clears throat> So anyways, we'll get on with the shark. <laughs> but to me, airtight was almost like a water guy because it just looked way more cooler. But I've seen uh, customized ones. They've had like two-seater ones, which they should have made. Hasbro should have made this a two-seater vehicle and made it a little bit larger. But in all in all, this is a pretty cool vehicle. It only holds one figure. And well, he's in a laying down position. <laughs> it's kind of strange, but anyways. They, this does have little cannons that pop up. And there is a lot of versions of this made. As well as for Cobra. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool though. So you can attach two divers underneath. Or you can attach their little misses to the bottom. Where the pegs go. So well, this is a pretty awesome little vehicle and you know you always had your seals underneath <laughs> torpedoes away and this was also not only was it in the water it also how you say it was above ground it flew in the air it was a shark out of water what are they going to do? Make it a triple combo and turn it into a space shuttle too? <laughs> Anyways, it does have some little rudders on the back for steering underwater. And, well, some kids did play with this in the water, in the bathtub. <laughs> Not good for the stickers, though. The other version I do have of this, I think, is a 2011. Or two, no, 2001. came with the uh, Sub Viper. And again... It just has another cool color to it. And the missiles are black. And let's have a look at this beautiful sub. But look at that. <laughs> oh, the shark for Cobra. And, well, I think the Sky Patrol had it. A few other versions of it are out there for sure <laughs> but this is awesome I've got two of the Cobra ones <laughs> but we'll go back over to here to the Cobra Claw the Cobra Claw also had a missile that attaches to the bottom and you could use it remote controlledly or not but it has three missiles this big bomb and two smaller missiles that fire off and little little wheels for those hard landings <laughs> oh. this is a cool little glider and it was remade again I think so 2008 it's when they had the 25th anniversary I think oh also these come out these ones slide out so it's got larger wingspan and some little 
tail fins, no rudders. <laughs> tail fins, it's got, yeah, it's got lots of everything. Controlling, you can control your flight. This was awesome. This was also in the cartoon a lot. Um, that was a lot of uh, smaller vehicles in later lines. <laughs> they had them in the cartoon a lot. I guess the artists couldn't draw bigger vehicles. I don't know. <laughs> oh well. But this was freaking awesome. I wish I had more of these, but just have the one. The commonly lost part is the missiles and the cover. Whereas on the shark, the shark's cover, hopefully it's usually on there. <laughs> but this also has an engine cover, the shark. But another vehicle for that year is the mail away Manta. And this thing folds up into a backpack, which I have somewhere in the room here. Oh, there's just so much. <laughs> hmm. So. You could usually have one guy surfing, or you can get a few more of these and have a few more people surfing. Surf's up, buddy. <laughs> oh. But this was fun. I did play with one of these. You know, you when you're doing your water battles. So the only vehicle I don't have for this year is the Chameleon. So that would put it at three, six, nine. Yeah. So, there's definitely three, six, nine, three, six, nine, ten. So there's 12 vehicles. The uh, other vehicle, well, 11 plus the exclusive. And that's just another vamp with the HAL. And I believe I said attack. <laughs> the HAL is a heavy artillery laser. I said attack laser in the other video, but same thing. <laughs> How can you have an artillery laser? The laser is not artillery, but the actual mobile piece is an artillery piece. So that's kind of weird, because artillery is usually lobbed. But I guess that's just what they call it. They didn't have, our, I don't know, <laughs> a category for that. But oh well. Now, I do want to go back in time. Back to 1982, and well, part of my Christmas was to get this. <laughs> oh, he had like three or four at the at the uh, collectible stuff shop, <laughs> and I I had to get one. I'm like, this is gonna keep going up in price. So I do have the jump pack and everything else that goes with this, and the guy. So everything will plug in here and yes, my 1982 is almost complete. Another, there's a few more things for this year and that's the battle stations. And I do have the uh, Bilowak or Bivouac, whatever they want to call it. Should just call it a medical tent. <laughs> Would have been much easier. And then they have the mounted howitzer and the watch terror. And we'll take a look at those in the next video. But I don't know about the other three playsets. I don't think I have those ones yet. I'm pretty sure I don't have them. There is the machine gun defense unit. I do have the machine gun, but I don't have the other stuff that comes with it. And then there's the missile defense unit and the mortar defense unit. And that's the battlefield accessories. But I did have some of these when I was a kid. And obviously I do have the battle gear that's just the extra weapons packs but as you can tell I put them on all my figures and what other things did I get for my Christmas oh ho, ho. I picked up the Adler but fortunately I did not inspect it fully and there's one broken part of the missile but the hydraulics is, is there got that for Christmas I also got Joe's Razorback and I already have the, the driver who looks like the Noid. Look at that. <laughs> I got this. $75 Canadian. Cheap. This thing's freaking awesome. The guy must have thought it was broken or something. <laughs> I put it together and it's awesome. One more thing that I got. Oh, 
ho ho Cobra Ice Saber unfortunately we'll have to do a review on this but I do have the back piece for this the Ice Saber friggin huge it holds three inside and well more on the back oh. and now there's this little piece they had it glued on we knew that when we bought it but that was part of my Christmas present but all I have to do is drill a hole with a small drill and into the other part as well and use a metal peg wet it put the glue in stick it together I'm still gonna clean this up nicer and then it'll be perfect it makes it stronger better than how it's made because <laughs> again they didn't design stuff properly and I have all the missiles I'm so excited I do love fixing up things as well if they're broken so oh and one more thing was this mash jeep I tried to modify it I just cut some of the plastic out there so I can fit in the GI Joe but I'm thinking if I cut the seats down and just lower the seats they'll fit in there easily what do you think about that this would be cool this is a mash jeep a mash <laughs> this is awesome <laughs> I can't believe I found one but I already cut up the insides so it doesn't matter because this is for my collection and friggin awesome a mash jeep <laughs> oh I guess the ambulance might be small but oh well those ambulances are too much I'd rather buy GI Joe for the price people are asking for a mash ambulance <laughs> anyways so we'll get back to the Manta <laughs> I always get sidetracked in these videos somehow but the Manta <laughs> this thing actually comes apart all these little pieces fold up into the backpack this little missile here fires off it's freaking awesome I also did get uh, another memory card unfortunately it was made in Walmart on China and it does not work for my camera so I'm gonna have to try a Shoppers Drug Mart and see if I can find a, a eight gigabyte memory card. Then I can at least have a 20 minute video. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna look at uh, some of the, we're gonna go through the figures a little more and we're gonna have a look at uh, all the fireflies that I got extra, like all the different versions. We're gonna have a look at the Baroness. I got another version of her. And we're gonna have a look at well, a few more just to compare. Oh yes, the Roadblock, definitely Roadblock. Roadblock was one of the awesome guys in that line. Well, there's a lot of awesome guys in this line. 1984 is a friggin' good year to collect. So anyways, I love collecting and I'm gonna always keep collecting. And I do wanna do a custom from the shuttle because, well, the shuttle that I bought is in pieces. <laughs> Uh, there's barely any pieces geez I got taken on that one but eventually I want to turn the space shuttle into a custom and if I ever get time <laughs> and I did manage to pick up some more paints so I will be able to paint up a few more customs and I do have some more vehicles that I already have painted up so maybe I'll show them in a surprise viewing because people like seeing some of the cool painted stuff but I'd still have to order some more stickler, stickers and decals. And yes, I do have the driver for that tank. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a good holiday. Yo, Joe Cobra!